Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss about our experience in Petra, the most famous place of Jordan. Petra has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985 and in 2007 it was voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. Petra was established by the Nabataeans, which were known to be a nomadic Arab tribe that moved across the deserts of the Arabian Peninsula. Nabataeans named their city Rakem or Rekmu, but when the Romans annexed Petra, they called it Arabia Petrea, Petra being the Greek word for rock. Before entering the site, you can visit a small museum to get a brief history of what Petra was and what it is in the present. As you enter the site, you will be greeted by people who will invite you to take the horse ride, which is said to be included in the price of the ticket. Hello! Is your name Monica? Monica, you're a girl! <laughs> of course, nothing in Jordan is free, even though you technically already paid for it on your ticket. The Jordanians asked for 10 dinners per person for a ride of no more than 1 kilometer. If you bring up that the horse ride is included in the price of the ticket, they will just say they want a prepaid 10 dinner tip otherwise they won't let you get on the horse. We have to understand them, considering that they are not exactly the richest country and especially if we consider their neighbors who are in a continuous conflict. So we paid and took the rides and made some nice pictures with the dear horses. The first attraction you will see are the Jinn blocks, which are three massive squared monuments. The horses stop in front of the obelisk tomb. The obelisk was carved as a funerary symbol by the Nabataeans in the 1st century AD. From here you will start your incredible journey through the canyons of Petra, called the Sikh. This narrow gorge resulted from a natural splitting of the mountain. The 1.2 km paved road is an original relic from Petra's past. This road is unbelievably beautiful, at least for me since I just love rocks. It gives the chills of being in another world. You don't see anything else, just some fine lines of the sky right above your head, the winding road and the great thick colorful walls of stone. you will also encounter the dam, which is a tunnel cut in the rock to divert the flash floods. The Nabataeans were masters in hydrological engineering. Through this beautiful road of the Sikh, you are led to the most iconic place from Petra, the treasury of al Hazan. The revealing of its most magnificent facade is so dramatic and exciting as you come to see more and more of it as you advance to the end of the sick. A 40 meters high monument decorated with Corinthian capitals, friezes and figures will come before your eyes. It is thought to be constructed in the 1st century BC. Here are people from all over the world, taking pictures, smiling, riding camels, 
screaming from the back of the camels, enjoying one of the wonders of the world. If you want to get on the back of a camel, you will need to pay another 5 dinar. There is a point of view where most of the people take their pictures with a treasury. On the right side of the treasury, there is a path on the rocks you must climb in order to get there. It is pretty steep and slippery. At the destination, there are some Bedouins with a tent, making tea and aromatherapy and taking pictures of the tourists standing on their traditional pillows laid on the ground. Up next, we continued our way to the left side of the treasury and arrived at the street of facades. This place is actually a road of monumental tombs carved in the face of the cliff. The theatre is a unique place due to the fact that it is the only theatre in the world that was carved into the rock. At the end of the main road, climbing up on the hill, you will get to the royal tombs. and facades next to each other called urn, silk, Corinthian and palace tomb. From the royal tombs we had to turn back because the time was ticking. There are so many other places and monuments to see. Here you will need at least two days to see the whole ancient beautiful city of Petra, which is definitely a mesmerizing experience. If you are a traveler who lives in Eastern Europe, Jordan is just a few hours away by plane. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments how was your experience in Petra or if you plan to visit Jordan. Thank you for watching.